Welcome back in the women's basketball team at Anderson University became victims of a crime at a national mm. historic landmark. Somebody broke into their van while they were taking team photos before a tournament in St. Louis. Jenny Runovich talked with the coach and players today about the crime. So Jenny, this wasn't at night or anything. This was during the day. Yeah, yeah, guys in broad daylight. This happened near the Gateway Arch in St. Louis. The team had gotten to St. Louis a little bit early to take some photos, create some memories. Well, a break in with their stolen stuff, not the memory they wanted to make. The Ravens back home after a road trip and some unexpected trouble to start the season. It was like the highest of highs to the lowest of lows in just a couple seconds. It was crazy. On their way to Webster University near St. Louis, we used the game of basketball to create memories. The women from Anderson University made a stop to sightsee. And obviously, the arch is one of the main sites there, you know what I mean? But while visiting the landmark and snapping selfies, we were having fun, taking pictures, uh, taking videos, laughing and joking. Thieves scored big off the team. I mean, we weren't that far away. It was literally happening right in front of us, and we had no idea. Uh, and then we go back to our van, and it has been broken into. And that's when one of the girls on the team, she got in, and she was like, guys, our bags are gone. So then we're a different rush of emotions come. We're feeling scared and frightened and, you know, sad. In the half hour they spent at the Gateway Arch, police say someone picked the lock and looted the van. Electronics, credit cards, even a Social Security card gone. I think it's very low, someone to do that. Their backpacks, game jerseys, and shoes stolen too. Some later found in a dumpster. The theft is still unsolved, but good sportsmanship saved the season opener. In the tournament, take a look. Webster let Anderson borrow their old uniforms. And despite the crime, the Ravens got the win Friday. They got something surprising too. Uh, you know, tragedy does one or two things. It either splits you or it puts you guys together. It, it really put us together, and it was great. Burglary bonded this team and led to an outpouring of support back on home court. So let's talk about that support. Yeah. Once the team got back home and Anderson University heard about the crime, they actually set up a giving campaign, mm. donations to help replace all those uniforms, the shoes, the things that were stolen out of the van. Well, in less than 24 hours, they tell me they're over halfway wow. to their goal. So that coming from you know folks who supported the university, the team, people in the community, mm -hmm. certainly a nice way to resolve what's been a difficult situation. Yeah. And Hozier said, come on home, y'all. We'll take I know. care we'll of you. Take care of you. Indiana said, come on home, we got it. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, yeah. Jenny. All right.